Welcome to a brand new series on my channel, PIF Countdown. In this series I will take a category of PIFs and count down the top 10 scariest ads I can find, or something like that. In this first episode we'll be looking at animal abuse. Let's begin. Come along, come along. Now, what would you like for Christmas, little girl? A puppy. Right. Want anything else? No, I don't think so. Oh, but you do. Do I? Well, let's see. You'll need some inoculations, of course. And there's the £2,000 worth of dog food he'll eat. Mm. Someone to walk it every day. Have I mentioned insurance yet? Maybe I'll have a ghetto blaster. Okay, so this ad isn't scary in the slightest, but that's what we need right now, a bit of light-heartedness to ease us into the onslaught of horrific ads to come. You can tell this was made in the 80s or 90s, can't you? Who even has ghetto blasters these days? Moving on. What do they dream of? Chasing butterflies, playing in the grass, or just curled up on the lap of someone who loves them. Sorry, Mike, I've got a nasty one for you. It's urgent. Over. I'm sorry, she's not moving. He just threw her against the wall, and I just need you to go upstairs and take a look. Poor little mate. They're not just objects, not targets or punch bags, not toys to throw away when people are tired of them. If things were different, we'd be looking for a new home for you, with people who'd give you care and affection. But you'll never know how sweet life can be. If you believe animals deserve better than this, please call 0800 085 3355 and pledge three pounds a month to the RSPCA. Thank you. This ad is more upsetting than scary. It really pulls at the heartstrings. That poor kitten. Makes you want to punch whoever did that to her. Let's move on before my heart breaks even more. Come on. We're going swimming, my brother and I. We're going swimming with our best friend. We're going to swim in the canal, even though it's very cold and dirty. My brother and I run down the towpath. We're happy to be running because we don't get taken out as often as we used to. Come on. Best friend seems to have less time these days. Come in. Never been down this way before. Come here. Usually we go where there's more people. Good one, good one. Now we're stopping. Suddenly my brother and I don't feel like swimming anymore. It's very cold. Very cold. So cold, our best friend puts us in a sack to keep us warm. I hope he doesn't slip, because it'd be very difficult to swim in this small sack. Again, this one is more of a tea jerker than nightmare fuel. There's a special place in hell for people who treat animals this way. That's about all I have to say on that matter. Next. He's fun. He's cute. He's crazy. He's my, my little, little puppy. puppy. Hours of fun for all the family. My little puppy comes completely unhouse trained and enjoys being taken for lots of walks needs feeding on a regular basis and requires endless love and attention. And when all the fun's over, he's easily stored away. He's cute. He's fun. He's crazy. He's about to get killed. This is a parody of a toy advert. And that's ironic because the whole point of it is to explain how pets are not toys. The dark humor in this PIF is truly chilling. Nice to know that no animals were harmed in the making of this, though, which is more than I can say for other ads. Moving on. 
Somewhere in this vast place, there's a small group of islands known as the Faroe Islands. No one knows why, but once a year, large groups of pilot whales return here. The islanders look forward to their visit each year and prepare a special homecoming for them. First of all, they herd the whales into the harbour. Then they harpoon them. And then cut them up with hunting knives while they're still alive. The noise you can hear is the whale screaming as it experiences this horrific death. The more the whales scream, the more the crowd seem to enjoy it. Meat is then distributed to the crowd, and once their freezers are crammed full, the rest is left on the beach. To rot. This U-rated cinema PIF is controversial for two reasons. One, it was rated U when it clearly showed whales being harpooned and bleeding to death. The other is that it painted Faroese people, people from the Faroe Islands, in a bad light. Contrary to what the ad says, the Faroese people do not kill the whales for the hell of it, they kill them for their meat. Bizarrely footage from this ad was used in the Red Hot Chili Peppers music video for Behind the Sun. Will everyone please take their seats? Very shortly your row will be divided into units of three. Do not obstruct the gangways whilst the cages are installed. There is no cause for alarm, these cages are for your protection. Please cooperate with the surgeons. They will remove your teeth and nails. This greatly reduces the incidence of cannibalism. It is in your interest to comply. Eating, sleeping and defecating may cause some discomfort, but your space allowance complies exactly with government regulations and you have the satisfaction of knowing that you are part of one of the world's most cost-effective production systems. You have nothing to worry about. This system has been tested on 45 million specimens. With I might add, your approval. Welcome to the battle. Have you ever imagined that you're a battery hen? Probably not. But that's exactly what this 18 rated cinema PIF wants you to do. A guy in glasses appears on the screen, asking everyone to take their seats. So far, so normal. Then he goes on to say that soon cages will be installed and the viewer's teeth and nails will soon be removed. It is in your interest to comply he smiles oh so creepily. Cut to real footage of cramped chickens in a battery farm. This system has been tested on 45 million specimens the guy continues. With, I might add, your approval. Welcome to the battery. Asterisk shudders asterisk. These two creatures are white rhinos. They're almost the last of their species. Though the hunting and exploitation of the rhino has been banned worldwide, one country continues to trade in poached rhino horn. Tell Taiwan who don't want the rhino to die. We see a 90s style These silver TV with pictures white of white rhinos playing on the They're screen. Almost the last of Seems their innocent enough at first. Then we hear some gunshots, and as the TV turns the around, it appears to be bleeding. Is worldwide. it real rhino blood? One country Probably to not, train but the image is disturbing rhino. enough. Then the TV turns itself to the back showing the phrase made tell in Taiwan. Taiwan. The voiceover says, the tell die. Taiwan you don't want the rhino to die. Powerful stuff.
This highly disturbing and downright disgusting PIF opens with a fly's POV of some buildings, before the fly zooms in on a fashion shop with a limo pulled up outside. A rich woman gets out of the limo, still being followed by the fly. The woman tries on some fur coats in the shop. All the while the fly is buzzing around the people in the shop. After trying on several coats the woman spots another fur coat which she would like to try on. She pulls back the coat to reveal. A rotting animal carcass, complete with maggots. Yep, you read that right. Couple that with a deafening screeching noise, and you have one of the hardest to watch animal cruelty PIFs ever created. Smile, though your heart is aching, smile, even though it's breaking, when there are clouds in the sky, you get by, if you smile through your fear and sorrow, smile and maybe tomorrow, you'll see the sun come shining through, for you. Gladness, hide every trace of sadness. Although every year, thousands of other animals suffer this ugly pain in the name of beauty. Please don't use cosmetics tested in this way. This chilling cinema ad sees a beautiful young model being plastered with makeup, but instead of making her look beautiful, the skin the makeup is applied to goes red and rash like. As the camera zooms out onto her entire face, we can see that she's in pain and crying. Then we are treated to a terrifying scream at the end, which is what really gives this PIF its scare factor. The PIF gets its name from the song Smile being sung in the background, which is chilling in itself. It's haunting to say the least. Music can really play a huge part in making something creepy, and this ad is no exception. Please give us a pound, or we'll have to pull the trigger. We're starting big with this one. This ad does not mess around. Okay, that's an understatement. This ad kept your humble author up at night when she first saw it. The ad starts with a shot, no pun intended, of a dog. The camera slowly zooms in while an instrumental version of the song How Much Is That Doggy in the Window plays in the background. Then here comes the kicker, the thing that makes this ad so damn terrifying, they point a gun at the dog's head. A gun. Please give us a pound says the narrator, or we'll have to pull the trigger. Shut up and take my money. All of IT. Anything to save that poor defenseless dog, who looks just as terrified as the rest of us watching at home. Seriously, what were the RSPCA thinking when they made this? Shame on them. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of PIF Countdown. See you next time. <laughs>